Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan Jones, Rocky Mountain Rafts Ambassador. I'm here today to go through what I do when I am cleaning my raft at the end of the season. Cleaning your raft is super important to keep it looking good, but also prevent unwanted wear and tear on your boat. Um, these things are designed to last for years, and so we wanna make sure that we keep it uh, clean as possible and looking good. So follow along, I'm gonna sip on some whiskey here on this beautiful afternoon in Crested Butte. We're gonna have a great time, cheers. So first things first, always keep your boat covered. Uh, I really like this over it cover. Um, it's built in Salida, Colorado. Uh, it's a new startup company, super awesome people doing this. But this blocks, I don't know, about 97, 98% of all UV rays, especially out here in the West where the sun is so intense. It's super crucial to uh, keep your boat covered. I'm gonna pop this cover off in a second. The first thing I'm gonna uh, start doing is vacuuming out my boat. A lot of leaves and sticks and just stuff um, gets in uh, uh, the self bailing areas of the boat throughout the summer. So follow along as I pop this cover off and do a little vacuum job. little pro tip here when your boat is up on a raft trailer always make sure that is attached to your hitch on the on your truck or your car um, I've had too many times where the heavy end uh, of the boat that's hanging off a little bit off the back side of your trailer um, when you crawl back there to clean it uh, the trailer tips up in the air you fall off and it's a bad time so just make sure you do that you're gonna see here that the aluminum frame does leave some marks on the boat. Um, not to worry, this is natural, it's just gonna happen with an aluminum frame, um, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of uh, some or most of that discoloration. After taking the frame off, you can see it is just pretty dirty. I am gonna run a vacuum through here. It's kind of the first step after taking the frame out. Um, that's just to get some of the twigs and leaves and stuff like that that's accumulated over the summer. Not only are you gonna find leaves and twigs in your boat, but I found a rogue string cheese. Look familiar, belong to you? Let me know, send me an email and I'll get it back to you. All right, y'all, so the next step is just take, to take a mild um, uh, household soap. We like to use Dr. Bronner's, super easy on the rubber. Nothing abrasive, nothing harsh, no harsh chemicals, maybe some Dawn or something. Just go around the boat and give it a good scrub. We're looking to clean the dirt off at this point. So I got this Dr. Bronner's here, uh, super nice uh, soap, good for, good for the earth, um, easy on the rubber. I like to use that. Just create a little soapy water solution in a container, gather some rags, and just start cleaning the dirt off your boat. gonna notice some of these black spots uh, or these gray spots that's from uh, uh, the aluminum in your frame completely natural not to worry we're gonna work on getting some of those off or at least minimized here in a little bit again just trying to remove the dirt uh, it's already starting to look a lot better remember guys this is a tool not a jewel it is good to get your toys dirty it's what they are meant to do um, Sometimes it's easy to forget that. And these things are meant to be used, they're meant to be used hard and meant to bring you a lot of joy. So get them dirty. All right, so it's uh, uh, time to put on uh, the boat cleaner, it's going to help remove some of the darker uh, marks um, that you see here from where the aluminum is rubbed. And uh, you can get this stuff on Amazon, works super good. You spray on, let's sit for 30 to 60 seconds and wipe clean. You don't need to scrub it super hard, it works pretty good. So I'll show you how that's done. 
So like I said, uh, you spray this stuff on, let it sit for 30 to 60 seconds, then come back through. I'm just using the uh, soft side of the sponge. I'm just giving it a little wipe down. When I'm done with this here, I'm gonna uh, rinse it clean with some fresh water. All right, so the last step, the quickest step in this process is applying a coat of 303. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spray this on the boat and then wipe clean and dry with a clean and dry microfiber cloth. Instructions on the back, your boat must be uh, completely dry and clean. Before you apply this, you can put this on every few weeks to give uh, the best protectant to your rubber. I'm gonna show you how to do that and then we're gonna be all done. All right, y'all, thanks for following along today. That is how we clean and protect our raft uh, when we're getting ready to store it up for the year. Um, we are not gonna be upset that we did that when we unroll this in the spring and get ready for rafting and fishing season again. Appreciate you following along. If you like what you saw today, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jones Guides, or check out my website, jonesguides.com, or on social, at jones.guides. Appreciate y'all, we'll see you again soon. Take care. One more pro tip for the road. Do not wear your nice Patagonia windbreaker when you're using a 303 bottle that has a leak in it. It will stain your nice clothes. Have a good day, everyone. Cheers.